Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Did you just whack me? No. Just whack me. Okay. Um, so today is our first official day out of mandatory quarantine. So we did the two weeks and now we are finally free. It's amazing. So the first thing we're doing is going to Bunnings. We're going to be getting clothing racks for our um, bedroom and we're also going to be getting plants. Thought I would take you with us because it's the best it's a whole new world. thing we've done in two weeks. mess because toddlers um but we bought this three meter beam that we're gonna stick in the wall here for our clothes rack so we have to test where the support beams are which are pretty clear because there's holes in the wall but i'm pretty sure yeah So we spray painted that black to match with the bar and we actually have to go back to Bunnings to get the wood finished. Okay, so we picked up this premium pine wood and what we're actually going to do, ugh, it's pretty heavy, but we're gonna like glue these together because we spent hours trying to find the right length and the right width and we asked heaps of Bunnings people and couldn't come up with it so this is the best solution so we bought wood glue and we're going to glue that and clamp it and that has to wait for 24 hours and tomorrow we're going to be putting the um like the shelf and the rack up which is really exciting are you helping out oh you're so good you're gonna clamp it together look at you oh it's not a saw <laughs> So I just measured out 2.6 meters on the plank of wood. So we glued it overnight and well, glued it and then let it sit overnight. Um, not gonna lie, amateur mistake. It did kind of bow a bit, but we're gonna sand it down and smooth it out once it's all cut. And if we flip it over to this side, oh, I tried to get like most of the um, glue off with a knife. But um, I'm going to sand that back just to make it smooth. It doesn't really matter, but if you're an expert, I'd definitely probably clamp the middle section. Um, but we didn't have clamps big enough, so it is what it is. So I thought I would just show you the little gap. So I'm going to be sanding this. I just put a new head on the sander and got a new pad out. So I'm going to hopefully smooth this over. Again, we are having this very high up, so it really doesn't bother me too much. But I just want to like gradually just make it blend in a little bit. Amateur mistake, guys. Never done this before, but it's okay. I'm done sanding. I'm also going to be sanding this side. What, Bubba? You want to connect? Yes. Are you a little helper? Help. Help. You want to open the door? Uh, open the door.
can just sand the rest of that back. Probably the most shadiest thing I've ever- No! What do you do? Getting that metal shard out. Shadiest thing I've ever experienced in my life. Lethal. All right, so we have our board measured out. We have our black pole measured out. It only took like, I'm going to say like two hours to get the proportions and measurements right, but we finally got it. We always wanted to like do less than no. what we meant to because you never want to cut too much off. to add the extra support beam but this is what it's looking like now Alright guys, so I just put all the clothes on. I decided to make it colour coordinated because it's like showing. So I thought that was heaps more aesthetically pleasing. I also popped a few things up top and a plant. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Yeah.